they round the people up and the young people, you know, they said they put on one side and the elderly people they put on the other side. Were you working that day or were you out of work? I was day? already in, in, in camp because they sent me out June 22nd and the Judenrein was August. Then what happened? And we are sitting the whole day and the, 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 the atrocities and the, the beating and the, the screaming. By the Germans? Was the By Germans the... was terrible. Mothers with small babies and the, they were shooting and they were beating up the people. And then the, a group of young girls, they took away, they separated us and sent us to Sosnovia. It was a Durkangslager. It was a camp where you were waiting, you know, to send you further. As, as the SS wife, because they wanted to, we were Jews. So he beat up your father and he never recovered? No. He passed away, uh, passed over uh, March 27, 1942. And they sent us, this was a concentration camp, from Graditz to concentration. And what was the name of the concentration camp? Graditz also? Peterswaldau, which was not far away. Camp? Yeah, we belong to Grossrosen. Grossrosen. And where is Grossrosen? In Germany. Women SS, and they were terrible. Especially one was, she used to, to scream on us, she used to hit us. She was terrible. What did she hit you with? With a bite. A piece of wood? Yeah. Why? Because we were Jews. She said you weren't working fast enough, or the work wasn't good enough? Well, no, it was no reason to, to count us on appeal. And it was very cold, I think. We were not standing straight or something. So she came in and she hit me you know, on my face. With what? I think with her hand that time. Do you remember her name? Yeah, we gave her a name. What was her name? Tigrishitsa, a tiger. Tigrishitsa. It was like like for swines. Could you wash your clothes? What clothes do you have? What clothes did you That's have? That's right, the cold water. What clothes did you so have? What we have? The uniform? No, or? not uniform, it's a private. And that's what it had. I had a good coat, so they took away from me. They gave me a, a schmatter. When did they start making you wear the Star of David, the Yellow Star? Oh, the Yellow Star was in the ghetto. First was an uh, armband on the hand, on the left hand. You used to How did you find out that you had to wear an armband? Oh, it was the announced, you know, in the streets, and the, through the Jewish Gemeinde. We had a Jewish organization. But in the backs, you could see, you know, they, they were a knife. And uh, the Lagerführer was a uh, butcher, a uh, real butcher. So he took his truck and went over two people. He ran them over? Ran them over. They made everyone they, watch? Yes, we had to stay the whole camp and to watch. And how long did that take? It took uh, half a night. We saw blood over there where we used to go to wash ourselves. So they probably hanged them. Did you find out who the two men were? Yeah, one was a son from our rabbi, ben, from Benjamin, Greiber Ruf's son. So they killed him? They, they killed the both, yeah, the who both was the men. They used to come from work and they used, we used to give out the cards. So the, you gave them extra cards? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I what, tried, you know, I was, I was, it was very risky. What happens if you got caught? What happened? You know what would happen. I will get 20 on my tushy. With what? With what? With the iron stick. And what else did they see? The smell from the from the, the dead people. Or what did they say? What they, what they, what they could say. They told us that people are are uh, was dying. It was dirt and hunger and typhus. The, they couldn't survive. After you talked to them, what did you feel? That was no hope, not at all. And what year was that? It was, they came in in 1944. The, the Russians came in, we were very close to uh, 
Wrocław. And uh, we heard the, the, the detonations you know, from the shooting and from the link. And the Germans, we used to make uh, the works for the ur bombs. Time bombs. For the time bombs. This was like uh, like a uh, ore maker. A watchmaker. A watchmaker. So all the parts were in a in a uh, wooden box with parts. So the Germans, three days before the Russian came, they made a hole to fill it with fasolne. Uh, I would say. What eats up the metal acid. with acid? They woke us, woke us up, middle of the night, took us by trucks, and we were thinking that we are going to Auschwitz. This will be our end. But we had to throw all yeah. the bucks when the Russian came in. Were you surprised? Our youth uh, they came in and told us, girls, look out from the little windows you will see a white flag on the, the post office. And what did you think? What do you think? We were thinking that the Germans uh, di uh, will dynamite the, the building with us. Then what happened? We went out very slowly. We saw, you know, the first trucks coming in. And uh, it was a beautiful... We didn't know that it was so beautiful. It was in the mountains. That was the valley. It was in the May and the uh, flowers were in full bloom. One uh, captain was a, a Jew, so he said, you know what, I didn't see a Jewish woman for years now, but uh, we were staying not too long because we were afraid. What we done, we didn't stay too long in the camp because the Russians were, uh, you know, hungry for women. We, I tried to go to Poland. I took the train. I took the train and uh, on the locomotive, not not on the train. And I I went to to Benjin, and I knew in Benjin I had a, a gentile friend, a very nice girl, which sent me little bag with sugar to the camp, and it came to me, the gentile girl. So with her sister, I went to the cemetery to my father's grave, and we went to her sister's grave. And uh, then, a few months later, I met a girl from our city and said, you know what, I was with your mother in one big room, and your mother passed away, she got sick, she got a typhus. Where? In Auschwitz. I have a wonderful life, very comfortable, Loved by my parents, have wonderful parents, beautiful people, and uh, they uh, gave me the best education for myself, private schools, and for my brother. And uh, was very, very child, very happy childhood. Any lessons? What did you learn? Yes. What did you don't, learn? Don't don't forget, because God forbid, history can repeat itself. <laughs>